Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Time for another Metal Earth Kit build. Another Batman Metal Earth Kit build. Still trying to catch up. Today I have the Batwing. This looks like it'll be an interesting little kit. Hopefully not as difficult as some of the Batmobiles will be. Or were, I should say. But the only way to find out is to open this up and see what's inside. The Batwing. We have instructions and we have our two metal sheets and the instructions are one sheet of paper this time let's open this up we have our usual introduction our usual first page the line drawing a bit about folds tabs slots needle nose pliers and our little legend the blue circle when you see that means to fold the tab over the green triangle means to twist and down below we have the layout of these sheets so that you know what part is what and then if we move to page two you have the beginning of the assembly flowchart you have some Subassemblies here. One, do the subassembly and it connects with part one. And just follow. Here's another subassembly that then connects to the other parts. And just follow the flow chart and the sub subassemblies. It's not hard to figure out. Once you're done with page two, flip it over. Page three, just continue subassemblies and regular assemblies and page four and in this one it's four pages and you're done so here's the hope and this isn't a particularly complicated one because then I'll be done faster and I didn't point out I usually do you've got a couple of colored parts these parts like one of them number three this is part three this one is pointed at this is the same part it's not does not have a number pointing to it they're the same part. They're probably used in two different places. You have a lighter blue. You have kind of a very vague purple. There's a yellow. There's some red. But that's just so they label one part and then you can figure out where the rest of them are fairly easy. I'm glad that they do that. Some of the tools that I'll use. Pliers. Pliers are very helpful. I have a flat nose set of pliers and this is from the Fascinations kit. And I have a long needle nose pliers. They can get into a lot of areas and hold on to long parts. These do not have any ridges on the inside so they do not scratch up the kits as you work with them and they're spring loaded which is nice. Side cutters or flush cutters are in my opinion, opinion essential. You can do these kits without them but it is so very very nice to have something to cut the parts off of the tree nice and quick and even and easy. Tweezers are very helpful. They're very small and easy to manage. They're great for holding on to small parts, great for making small bends, great for twisting and bending some of the tabs. I like to have an assortment of different kinds. I have a fairly normal set of tweezers, a thinner set, and a couple of sets with very pointed ends for getting into very small areas round nose or ring pliers are very useful for shaping some of the curved parts you can just get the metal in between there and just slowly bend it and curve it for all of the odd shaped areas of your kit there's a number of different things you can use to make these cylinder shaped and round parts i have a bunch of dowel rods that i've used a couple of them sharpened for making cone shapes i've also picked up some step mandrels that have different size round areas or a very inexpensive drill bit set this is a set that I got very cheaply that I honestly would never use to actually drill with but there's a lot of different sizes you can use we have the instructions we have the metal sheets I have some tools to get started let's put this together
I often use my fingernails to bend over tab. With part 9, since the tabs were so close together, instead of trying to grab each tab and bend it, I wedged the pointed tweezers between them and bent both tabs over. On part 8, I bent the center front tab back kind of far so it would hook into place and be more secure. Be sure to bend the tabs on the wings and wing parts rather than twist them. There's not enough room for twisted tabs. The sides of 16 and 17 do not bend at a full 90 degrees. I had to bend them back a little for the part to fit.
With parts 23 and 24, I completely missed that the curved side bends one way and the straight side bends another. I bent them all the same way and thought perhaps the instructions were backwards because of how it said which way to face the mirror finish. Then I ended up putting them on the wrong side. Yeah, I completely goofed that up. I did not realize it until I had finished the model and did not want to go back and fix it. This video has been edited. I have not shown all the attempts, adjustment, and retries to get all the parts to fit. I also clip out some repetitive steps. It may make it look like this kit came together easier than it did. Keep in mind, there's a lot of bending and adjusting to make parts fit. Work slowly, be patient, and take your time. give you the bat wing. I didn't expect this to get to be easy but it was more tedious than I thought it would be and that's there were just a lot of parts it just took more time to shape and bend and twist and fold over. It wasn't bad though it was still easier than than the Batmobiles and as far as getting these rounded shapes that turned out better than I thought. I was very nervous about them when I first started. You start off trying to curve this top part, these two pointed pieces, and that didn't seem to be going well, but in the end it, it doesn't look bad. I did, however, make one big mistake, as I've already mentioned, these two pieces on the bottom here. I didn't catch that the flat sides went one way and the curved side went down the other, and I thought they all went the same. Folding it that way it didn't fit quite right. I thought, okay, these are instructions are wrong. It's happened before. Fold them the other way and then it'll fit. And so I ended up folding them a couple of different ways, which is dangerous to do because these this metal can break easy. And it was a while before I realized, oh, I should have folded this side up and this side down and then it would have fit perfect. So the instructions are right. I messed up and looked at them wrong. And it comes out not looking like it's supposed to, but it still doesn't look bad. I'm just going to leave it because it, it, by the time I discovered the kit was almost completely assembled and I'm not pulling it back apart to fix that, especially since I've already bent these pieces a couple of times, that would mean breaking it. So if there was, if it was a matter of it bothering me enough to fix it, I would build the kit again. You know, that's part of the reason I do these videos. So I can make these mistakes show you. That way, you don't have to. If you have any questions or comments, as always, leave them down below. Any requests, leave them as well, and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, and keep on keeping on.